and this week <laughs> we don't have a lot to talk about but um, I want to be real that's how it is sometimes <laughs> My name is Mira and I'm the maker behind Mira's Knits here on YouTube and Instagram and today we're going to talk about some knitting or my progress from uh, in the last week and now firstly um, I know I've said it before because of my exams there's not much progress and this week <laughs> we don't have a lot to talk about but um, I want to be real that's how it is sometimes and probably some of you feel the same or don't get done as much uh, every week so um, yeah today I'm being real this is probably a shorter video um, yeah I just have three socks and one sweater to talk about and that's it for today and yeah later on I'll talk about my um, some knitting plans I have and yes, so that's the sweater. Um, with that, I get I think a lot done. So um, this is a design by me. Uh, it's the Aris zipper, as you can see. It ha now has a zipper, and I finished one sleeve. But let's see. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> there's still holes here, but. What you can do when you have holes here, just follow the yarn and then you can tighten it like that and just go around and it's fine. That's what I always do. Or you can, to prevent it more, you can um, cast on when you pick up for sleeves. You can cast on one extra stitch and then knit them together in the next round. That also works fine. But I like this method more. And then, if there's still a hole left, I'm sorry about my hair. There's still a hole left. You can um, just close it when you weave in your ends. I just think it looks neater. So that's what I prefer. And yeah, so I finished one sleeve, and I did the zipper band, I guess. But now I need. I'm going to show you the problem I have. So I did a quick vlog, but not a really good one. But um, the problem I have, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm debating about leaving it like that. But I feel like I did the sleeves a bit too tight. I don't know if it's in, uh, in the video. Yeah, it should be. Um, so it's just, I guess, a tight sleeve. Um, but because this is more oversized, I don't know if that's what I want. But then again, when everything is just oversized, it's just not something I wear. So I'm thinking about just leaving the sleeve like that and do the um, second sleeve um, the same for two reasons. <laughs> um, because I don't want to rip it back, of course. And the second reason is that I just have a bit left and I think it should be enough for my second sleeve at least the mohair maybe not the merino but the mohair and i really don't want to dye up more yarn and then just use 20 grams or something like that because i don't think i would need more but maybe it's even enough to finish the sleeve so that's one reason and then again i know that a lot of people like tighter sleeves so i'm thinking about to just have two sleeves I guess so <laughs> that uh, in the pattern you can decide if you want a tighter sleeve or a larger sleeve um, so I don't know yet but uh, again about the sweater so you we have a higher color it's a three by three ribbing and knitted in three millimeters and then we have the stitch pattern and this is an alternated dimple stitch Dimple? Yeah, thanks, it's Dimple. Uh, and it's knitted in 5 millimeters. And then we just have a stockinette part. No, maybe it looks weird. Uh, that's in 4 millimeters. And then we have the button band again, that's again in 3 millimeters. And yeah, we have a zipper. Um, I tried something else uh, with including the zipper. Um, I know a lot of people <laughs> knit their zipper 
it's like the one I guess I don't know if she made the original idea um, but maybe you know the silver sweater by Petite Knit and I've seen that all other designers uh, use the same method uh, as she does maybe she copied it from someone I don't know so <laughs> don't go at me um, but I don't know I didn't really like the look of it because it was just not neat enough for me so that's why I came up with that method and I <laughs> uh, miscounted my uh, the stitches you cast on when you close the <laughs> part where you knit it um, I cast on too few stitches so that's why down here oh you can't see it so that's why down here is it's, it's a bit smaller than here but of course on the pattern it won't be like that <laughs> so I know it looks a bit weird but um, this is even the first sample so I will knit the second one and then I'm ready to uh, do all the other stuff but um, until then it will take some time so again this is also drawing dyed by me it's a mohair and a fingering weight um, so it's lace and uh, fingering and it's a tweed uh, merino but it has really few specks so you can't really see it and then again the merino is dyed in that, like a brown beigey colorway so <laughs> you can't really see it um yeah maybe i don't know if i'm in focus or still in the <laughs> maybe like that so that's how it looks on and that's it from the back i hope <laughs> It's in, in the camera, we'll see. And yeah, I guess that's it for now about the sweater. So we'll see if I knit the sleeve or not or rip it back. I keep you <laughs> informed. Um, so yeah, that's why I um, haven't done the second sleeve or anything because I wanted to show you my knitting progress. And if I would rip it back and then knit it again, I couldn't show anything. <laughs> So yeah, that's why there's no the second sleeve because um, I think sleeves sometimes they take me ages because I'm just not in the mood for knitting sleeves. Um, but most of the time it goes by really fast. <laughs> and then this is four millimeters, so it's even faster. I know it's not the fastest. <laughs> a lot of people like knitting with uh, larger needles, but I don't. I'm more and like four. Maybe 4.5 millimeters is like the highest I can get uh, above that. It's I don't like it. So <laughs> that's just me um, because it hurts my fingers a bit. So let's move on to um, another, I guess, whip, finished object. I don't know. <laughs> um, here we have another lace design by me. I showed this in the last video, but I had no cuff. Uh, I asked you in the last video um, about an idea about the cuff um, because I was just not sure how I wanted it and yeah so now I decided on a garter 2x2 two two gripping cuff um, as you can see I hope you can it's really light so maybe oh no now it's lighter I don't know if it even changed. Um, yeah, I just hoped it focuses. So we have um, a garter, then two by two ribbing, and then some garter rows, and then again two by two ribbing, and just a normal bind off. And yeah, so here we have. Oh, I love this lace pattern. It's just the prettiest. I hope it comes across in the um, camera. And yeah, so these are called my Eden socks. Um, these are toe up, so uh, all my socks are toe up. It's just what I prefer, and I think it's the best if you knit with scrappy yarn, um, just because you can just cast on and knit however long you can um, or how far you can get with your scrap yarn. So, yeah, that's why. And then I have an afterthought here in all my designs, um, just because when you have sock sets, I think that's the nicest. So uh, I always do a contrasting toe and heel and two stripes like that from the first one um, in my cuffs. And yeah, so that's just how I do it and I think it's the best and that's why I want to yeah, have my patterns um, 
company that. And yeah, so that's I guess all about my Eden socks. It's uh, also yarn, that's so all the yarn I'm using today is um, dyed by me. Um, this is a sock blend, it's 75% merino and what's it, 25% um, nylon. And yeah, this yarn is a bit more rustic. <laughs> I know it's super warm, it should be softer, but um, yeah, I don't know what it is with that yarn. Um, so I'm not <laughs> gonna use this yarn again, but I have a lot of sock yarn left, so um, yeah, that's what I keep knitting on. And I need to take off that sweater, it's just warm in here. I'm sorry, give me a second. Um, yeah, so um, I, I just haven't had time to knit off the second sock. So we'll see how long it takes me. And then again, um, I, it's not that easy to have, uh, what's it called, like um, to create a chart. Um, there are a lot of programs where you have to buy, uh, no, I don't know what you call that in English, um, license to use the program or just buy the program, I guess. And with free programs, there's not the stitches I need. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do all of that. Um, I guess for the socks it's easier, but I'm trying on the um, top design. <laughs> I don't know how to um, do it, um, just because I need more stitches, so maybe I draw them myself, or we'll see what I'm gonna do, but to be honest, uh, I, I'm not including the top here. I don't even know, think I knitted on that one in this week, so I you couldn't even include it, but it's, it's, it's I don't know if this um, will ever become a design, so we'll see, um, it's just not what I prefer knitting on right now. So maybe you see it on, or maybe you don't. So let's move on to my next sock design. So I fin finally finished the second sock. Um, why this took me so long is because we have a couple reasons. <laughs> the fit of these socks is not the best. Um, it's, it's my fault, I cast it on too many stitches. And I'm not liking the heel, so um, this is just a normal gusset heel. So you increase and then I guess you decrease again. That's how you do the toe. And yeah, so here we have a smoked stitch pattern. I don't know if that's the best to show you. Um, yeah, and for this pattern I'm gonna switch it up. So these are my Clive socks. But I will switch it up, so I will include the gusset heel, and I still have to knit up these socks. So uh, there will be some time um, until these are finished. But uh, yeah, uh, it's just I told myself this year that I don't want to rip back a lot of stuff, just because, um, of course, when it doesn't fit me, there's no reason, but I can give them. They fit me, they're just a bit too loose. So these are more house socks, but I don't really mind. And I love the yarn, I love the pattern. <laughs> so uh, of course um, keep them, but um, <laughs> what I try to say is that this year I want to not rip back a lot of stuff, <laughs> just knit it and learn from it um, when it's still wearable or usable. So I have another pair of socks from my brand socks um, <laughs> that I really try to knit on, but I don't know what it is. I'm just not in the mood right now, to be honest, for stitch patterns. I'm just in the mood for stocky net, just because I have to study so much <laughs> in my breaks. I really just want something simple where I don't have to think about. So that's why I'm knitting a lot of just simple vanilla socks. <laughs> of course, my next two pairs are just vanilla socks. <laughs> so we have, um, these are my newest pair. Um, I guess that's the finished object of the week. <laughs> it's just a pair of socks, um, but that's how it is sometimes. And of course it's a lot, so it's not small. <laughs> I 
and yeah I love how this yarn turned out so to be honest I was just um, after my exam <laughs> I needed a break and what I do when I write my exams on that day I'm not studying for my other exams <laughs> that are coming up so I just grabbed a, a hank, wind it up and started knitting some socks and that's just what I needed. I wanted to cast on with new yarn, new yarn I guess it's uh, but you know yarn <laughs> I'm not knitting with right now and yeah I guess that's so again we have, so these are the same pattern as the one I showed you before, the, these ones, but um, um, just with one variegated yarn. Maybe you can see it. One sock is easier to see, I think it's that one. Um, you can see that there's a bit of stripes, um, that's just how the yarn turned out, but to be honest I really like how that one turned out. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I said that because um, they are finished so we're not gonna see anything. But um, so yeah again toe up uh, after third heel and just um, two by two ribbing. So I always do two by two ribbing with my socks um, just because I think it holds better and one by one ribbing never holds by me. So I guess um, <laughs> I always, when uh, even in sweater patterns, when there's a one by one ribbing, I always switch it up to something else, a three by three or two by two or something similar. Or uh, when it's too hard to switch up because there's a stitch pattern, I just do twisted one by one ribbing um, because that holds better too. And yeah, and what I also do, I don't block my socks, so I wash them, but I just lay them flat. Um, because then your ribbing cinches in like that. So that's just normal how it should look like. And when you block it, it will look more like that. And when you have your socks on, they block themselves. Uh, that's just what I do. So sock blockers are really not that important. They're just better to show you how socks look like, I guess. But if you still want to block your socks, just take some cardboard, trace your foot, make it a bit longer and then you have your sock blockers maybe taped around or you can even use the, it's so scheid of in German, I think it's the saran wrap, I think that's what's in my head right now, I put it somewhere here if, uh, when it's wrong, um, but yeah that's just my tip, <laughs> I would never block socks. Um, because when you block them, it's harder for them to get back. That's what I feel like. So always just put them flat. And yeah, or if you block them, just don't block the ribbing. <laughs> That's just what I would do and prefer. Um, but yeah, so these are my finished object of the week. It's the same uh, yarn content, so it's 75 merino, 25 nylon. And it's a dark grey, darker blue-ish colorway. I um, That was also more of a fail and I tried to save it with just some darker colors. Um, but I think it still looks fine. And I have another pair of socks but I'm just gonna show them because I forgot, forgot to show them last week. Um, so it's I guess the same, just a different color, maybe like that because this tone's also already dirty so I love this one uh, this is my I think these are my favorite socks <laughs> uh, for now I, I to be honest I really like all of them I'm just really into bright brighter colors or even colors and variegated yarn yeah, I don't know how that happened um, because I always not hate it but I was just not so drawn to variegated colors so it's really funny um, that I'm now basically knitting only in variegated colors, um, but I guess you can change and that's uh, what I like right now and maybe it's because I started dyeing my own yarn, <laughs> that's probably why, but um, yeah, so this is more white socks with some blue and grey speckles, it looks like that my camera is really light again. That pressure? <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, so again, toe up, after third heel, two by two ribbing. That's just how I knit my sample one inner socks. Um, I feel like every knitter or sock knitter has their own way of knitting their favorite socks. But to be honest, it's just something you have to try. So you have to try different stitch counts and lengths and all like that. Um, so I can say it, I guess. <laughs> it's not a secret or uh, it's uh, not a secret I want to have. Um, I always do 60 rows. So I knit with finger weight yarn only or I never tried DK socks. And I knit on 2.5 millimeters and I knit 60 rounds, put in my stitch markers for my afterthought heel. Then I knit 40 rounds, so it's stockinette, stockinette. Um, then I knit 20 rounds, 2 by 2 ribbing. And then I just come back, put in the needles, cut the yarn and do my afterthought, afterthought heel. That's um, what... Oh yeah, and I have um, 26, so I do magic loop and I increase for 26 stitches on each needle. Um, that's, I <laughs> guess, the measurements of my socks. Um, so th that's just, um, they get the best fit <laughs> for my feet. And um, yeah, that's from now on everything. And it's so these two and these are in the same gate. And um, with the stitch pattern, it's always different, of course, because it depends on the stitch pattern. And yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, don't forget, um, now there will be uh, shortly um, the tutorial for my just simple vanilla socks. Again, if you're interested, post about it with Miro's socks uh, hashtag so I can comment, like, share, <laughs> um, whatever. And yeah, now that I'm looking down, I mean, except from these socks, I have a really good color selection this um week <laughs> yeah so i guess that's it for this week i keep it short i have my exams i need to study i still have to edit this video